Promised to rebuild after a fire devastated the Alligator and Wildlife Discovery Center in Madeira Beach. Yeah, we now know that that fire killed more than three dozen exotic animals and forced more than 100 others into shelters. Penn Tampa Bay's Hannah Deneen has been on top of this story since it broke early yesterday. She joins us live from John's Pass Village. And Hannah, this morning, what do we know about the center's plans to move forward? Well, Caitlin and Frank, as investigators continue to try to figure out what caused this fire, the center's owner now vowing to rebuild, and she's getting some help from local rescue centers and the community. Now, throughout this fire, we now know roughly three dozen mammals, from a pig to skunks and chinchillas, died in this fire. About 100 others, though, including gators, fish, turtles, and iguanas, were displaced or injured. Thursday, those surviving animals were taken in by other groups, like Clearwater Marine Aquarium and Sarasota Jungle Gardens. The entire community now vowing to help, like Robin Miller, the local Chamber of Commerce president, who launched a fundraising campaign for the center yesterday. We're going to lift them up. It's going to be a long road. Uh, but it's not gone, and we'll, we'll see what we can do to be bigger and better in the future. The fire also damaged three other businesses. Right now, the Pinellas County Arson Unit and State Fire Marshal's Office are investigating the fire's cause. Coming up in the next half hour, we hear from the owner of Alligator and Wildlife Discovery Center, Sunny Flynn, about how she's reacting to this outpouring of community support. Live in Madeira Beach, Hannah Deneen, 10 Tampa Bay.